Hey, fourth graders, this is Mr. Marshall at Stony Lane. I'm here to teach you a new decimal game today. Ready? Um, so this is a game that um, I call Decimal King. You can turn it to Decimal Queen or Decimal Monster, whatever you want. It's just a silly name. It has nothing to do with the game. Um, so let's take a look at this game. Um, in this game, you are going to be comparing decimals, seeing which ones are the biggest and the smallest. Okay? We're going to be studying place value today because the decimals you're going to create are between the hundreds and the hundredths, okay? So there are five digits, two on the right side of the decimal point and three on the left side of the de decimal point. Let's review what those, those are called. Here we have hundreds, tens, ones, and then on the right of the decimal point are the tenths and hundredths, okay? So that's what we're gonna be working with. In this game today, you're gonna have a partner that you're gonna play with and you are going to use a die. Remember how I told you if you don't have a real die, you can use the electronic die. Um, and if you need that, the link is right here. You would just click on that and open up this website. And remember, in order to use the die, you're going to drag the die out here. You can use the one with the dots or you can use the one with the, the number. <clears throat> and to roll it, you have to click on that, and it'll roll the die right there for you. Remember also that you have to make a copy of this game in order for it to work so that you'll be able to write on the game board. So file, make a copy, entire presentation. I'm not going to do it now because I already did it. And, um, and then you put your name on here so your teacher knows uh, who this is. Okay, And your teacher might have you put it in a special folder so that he or she can see everyone's game. So... Let's play this game. The way it goes is um, one player goes first, so I'm going to go first. I'm going to roll my die, and I got a 1. So I'm going to go to my game board, and I'm going to put my 1 in any of these boxes. So I'm going to put it in this one right here in the tenths column. Okay. And my partner goes, does the same thing, then it's my turn again. I'm going to roll the dice. I got a 5. I'm going to put the 5 here. And my partner goes, and then I go again. It's pretty simple as far as that goes. So I'm going to put the one over here. And um, we keep rolling until, until we know that all of the places on the board have been filled in. So I, I keep getting ones. Gosh. All right, so here we go. So now I'm going to just, like, fast forward. I'm not going to do this because I don't want to bore you. I want this video to be quick so that you can have time to play the game. So um, once all the boxes have been filled in, what you're going to do is you have to read every number. OK, so read it across. Like this says 653 and, remember the decimal point, you say the word and, 21 hundredths, right? Since we have two digits here, it's always hundredths. 444 and 13 hundredths, 236, and 12 hundredths, okay? Um, so you and your partner both do that. And then what you have to do is now I have three decimals that I made. My partner has three decimals that he or she made. And so what we have to do now is decide which one of the six is the biggest, okay? And the way you do that is you compare by looking at the number all the way on the left and seeing which is the biggest. So my biggest one is this first one, 653 and 21 hundredths. And if that's bigger than my partner's is, then that's the biggest um, decimal in the game. So I'm going to drag this here, the, the number one one. Okay, let's see if it works. It should work. This has been giving me some trouble today. Hang on, let's double click. Huh. One more time. Hang on one second, let me see if I can fix this. Actually, instead of double clicking on it, I'm going to single click, one click, and move it up. This is not supposed to be the hard part of the game, guys. Here we go. I think it's going to work now. I put it up here, and I got a 1,000 points for that because it was the highest decimal. 
And then let's say the second highest is something that my partner has on her screen or his screen. They're going to drag this number two. And then we're going to figure out that they also got the number three. I got number four. And I'm going to drag this purple bar up here because that's fourth place. 444 and 13 hundredths is number four. And I got number five, which is worth 300 points. Okay. So now I add up these points. I have 1,000 plus 500 plus 300. So I have 1,800 points. Okay. That's my score. And my partner got 800 plus 600. That's 1,400. And 100, that's 1,500. So I win because I had more points. Okay. Whoever has the more points added up on here is the winner. That's the person who's the decimal king or decimal queen. Okay. Um, so if you think about this game, there's probably some good strategies on how you can get more points. You and your partner can talk about that. Okay. And see um, what way you can figure out to get more points. Okay. I hope you enjoy this game. Um, keep talking about it with your friends. Talk about what you did with your teacher. And um, I'll see you again next time.